Welcome back to Android Weekly. My name is Jason and this Yes, stop it. I know, I know what you're thinking because I'm thinking the same thing. Jace, you said last week that we'd get Android updates by November 3rd and November 3rd is come and gone and nada. Zilch, überhaupt nichts, gar nichts. So, was ist los? Well, it all comes down to a royal snafu and snafu stands for situation normal all up. I didn't actually swear there, I just liked to because it makes me feel better. Yes, that's right. We heard that due to a battery bug issue on the Nexus 5, Lollipop would be delayed until November 12th. But again, you want to take that with a grain of salt. It was posted by uh, one of the editors from Android Police on his Google Plus page, but wasn't posted on AndroidPolice.com, so we didn't report it either. So I know many of you are gonna ask that in the comments, so I wanted to get that out of the way, November 12th. But we've also heard that the LG G3 is supposed to get it this week. Wouldn't that be crazy? If the LG phone got it before and the Nexus owners, yowzers. Now for those of you who've been lusting after the Nexus 6 but couldn't get it, we have news for you. After selling out of the Nexus 6 almost instantaneously, we learned last week that every Wednesday, Google will start stocking more units for would-be buyers. But you had better be fast. By the time Android Authority was about to publish a quick alert letting you all know that the Nexus 6 was back in stock and available for purchase, poof, the Play Store was sold out yet again. But of course, we can confirm that Google does restock new units of the phone every Wednesday. You just gotta be able to click real quick. Now, for those of you who are not serious ADD sufferers, you may not know that Google Calendar is a lifesaver for people like me. Yes, and it has recently come up with a major update, and it looks gorgeous. The new Google Calendar is drenched in material design, with the new signature action button allowing you to quickly create new events. The bold color palette and smooth animations are complemented by maps, thoughtful graphics, and even imagery displayed based on your events. For example, if you set an event in New York, it will show the city's iconic skyline, while a night out event may show a drinks graphic. But not all changes are skin deep. The most exciting addition in terms of functionality is events. Basically, Google is bringing some features of Google Now to Google Calendar. When you receive emails confirming dinner reservations, concerts, or just a meeting, for example, entries will be automatically created in your calendar. Even better, Google Calendar will automatically update those entries when you receive subsequent emails changing the details of the event. Yes. I'm going to seem responsible and organized. Now you all knew this was coming, rumors surrounding the Samsung Galaxy S6. According to Samsung Mobile, which has had a great track record with Samsung rumors in the past, claims that it will likely have a Quad HD 2560 x 1440 display, though nothing has been offered about the screen size, but we're guessing between a 5.3 and a 5.5 inch. The camera will possibly be a 16 megapixel with OIS, and the front-facing camera will be 5 megapixels. It will have a storage capacity of 32, 64, and 128 gigabyte variants, and the system on a chip will either have an Exynos 7420 20 octa-core 64-bit or the Snapdragon 810 64-bit. Now if you guys remember, I got really psyched up for all the hype surrounding the Samsung Galaxy S5 and when it came out, I was underwhelmed to say the least. So I am cautiously optimistic. I'm hoping for a real whopper. We shall have to wait and see. Thanks for watching guys, but before we finish I wanted to comment on a couple of questions that came from yesterday's video on privacy. I worked really hard on that, thank you for your encouragement. Uh, but some people were questioning why I didn't include Tor. Tor is a secure web browser or a supposed secure web browser that many people use that are very concerned about privacy. And it can be a great tool, I know many people that have used it, but you should know that the Silk Road founder, the guy who created the Silk Road where lots of clandestine, not so legal activities would happen. He was found uh, by US authorities through the Tor web browser. So nothing is completely secure and I didn't wanna uh, suggest that you should just take it all lying down and just accept the fact that you've lost your privacy. But I am just being realistic. There are a number of different tools that I list out there that can increase your security and privacy. But if you become a target and they really wanna know what you're doing, there's not really too much you can do about it. If you're connected, you're vulnerable. But, you know, let's not be depressing. <laughs> you don't wanna forget about my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja, Kevin, Lon and Chris, all working really hard to deliver the best content on the web. I shall see you next week on Android Weekly.